Hello and welcome to Channel Y and special welcome to Talking Head. I'm your host Vikram Chaudhary. As you know, this is the show where we try and get important personalities, people who've made a mark here in Canada and elsewhere and taking a cue as uh, what we've been doing in the past. Uh, today I have a very important guest with me, a psychotherapist, somebody who can uh, who can change your thoughts and perhaps help you, uh, you know, come up with better thoughts. Mental depression and, uh, you know, uh, uh, mental depression and uh, uh, this disorder is growing like a phenom at a phenomenal pace and uh, something needs to be done world over uh, we need more psychotherapists and uh, this is the this is uh, this is what we're going to talk about uh, today's topic is about uh, uh, mental health and psychotherapy and my special guest today is Satvinder Kaur Kormi uh, she's a local uh, <clears throat> psychotherapist and a very uh, and a very renowned one and uh, someone who's trained into dealing with your uh, mental health uh, welcome, uh, Satinderji. Satinderji. Yes, thank you very much to uh, give me opportunity to talk about yeah. that. Satinderji, uh, to begin with, uh, tell me a bit more about yourself. Okay. Uh, actually, I am a registered social worker practicing as a psychotherapist or clinical mental health therapist uh, from 20 years of experiences in helping <coughs> clients to maintain their um, uh, healthy mental health uh, through psychotherapy and counseling services. Great. Uh, what has been your experience uh, in this field? Uh, how did you come into this field and uh, what is the importance now? Okay, so as I, um, I think you heard the, my clinic name is The Thoughts and uh, I'm in this field from last 20 years. So, uh, so it was a huge experience um, in the social work field. And when I started working as a private practice, the, my clinic is The Thoughts and The Thoughts is uh, mental health counseling and rehabilitation <coughs> services. There we provide psychotherapy, counseling and programs also. And um, as you said before, like uh, the, the uh, in the communities, there is a uh, huge problems uh, yeah. about the mental health issues and um, other disorders. So yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's 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 turning out to be a big, big problem. But uh, to elaborate a bit more on this, what exactly is uh, psychotherapy? Uh, because to a lay layman like me, uh, this word comes with a with a cliche, with a, a taboo that. Uh, I am, if I'm mentally sick, the society won't accept me. So what exactly is uh, psychotherapy and how do you help them? Mm -hmm. Psychotherapy is a talk therapy in which uh, we explore thoughts of our clients based on their problems, issues or difficulties. <coughs> yeah. uh, might be related to family, work or profession <coughs> or communities. And based on that, we provide various approaches to deal with the, um, the, with the issues. To help them uh, to deal with uh, to help them to uh, they live their life happily and healthy great in today's uh, world in today's modern times uh, mental disorders are growing what is the reason why what is the number one reason or perhaps if you have to give me three different reasons what are the three different reasons why is it growing Okay, because of the, I can say, the busy schedule and uh, uh, the lifestyle change and everybody there is busy in their uh, life and they have really no time to, uh, to self, to their families and they, and because of that they are not uh, following their, you know, the daily routine, they are not taking care of uh, their self. This is the main issue. When they, when the people are tired, they are not uh, able to talk uh, um, with everyone nicely and uh, when the, and that tiredness goes to uh, slowly into the stress also and they pulling into the profession also. So start from self, goes to the home and slowly goes to the uh, workplaces. Okay. So it's a cycle. Once you get into the cycle, everybody who's related in that cycle gets into it. Absolutely, absolutely. Because mental health is when I am not able to <coughs> deal with the uh, situation yeah. uh, happily or positively, and then. Um, 
that it's uh, the you know the negative thoughts started and bunch of uh, thoughts started and bunch of thoughts that are uh, collecting in our brain and slowly that's started making more stress and um, going into the depression usually it's a thought that uh, if you're rich you're really happy but I'm sure you must be having rich clients as well uh, with mental depression so what exactly is the reason is there any relationship between money and depression if you're rich you can't be depressed oh no sorry to say about that it's not related to rich or uh, poor it is totally related to how you are managing your day-to-day -day life how you are um, um, uh, taking care of yourself uh, do you have your routine for uh, you know to uh, from start morning to like uh, evening so how you are taking uh, any situation in uh, uh, in a positive way so that's totally depend on how you are thinking based on that situation or how you are dealing with the situation so you need to be very positive so that is the real essence of Absolutely. this uh, who exactly is the top most candidate to get depression a housewife who's sitting idle at home or somebody who's workless without work or somebody who's got lots of money but has nothing to do so among these three who's the top candidate to get depressed again uh, all of them or uh, might be anyone because all human beings are unique and the thing is as I told you how we are uh, seeing the situation how we are thinking uh, about the situation and how we are dealing about this uh, for the situation that is very important it's really not related to if I am working uh, I can be a more negative or a positive or if I'm free I'm can be a negative or positive. It's totally depend of how my thought process is. So you teach them, you teach people how to control your thoughts and uh, make your negative thoughts into positive show. So she has the uh, she has uh, the remedy to change your negativity into positivity. And uh, how is that? Uh, what's a treatment approach, if I have to ask you that? Absolutely. So there are various treatment approaches. In the psychotherapy, there is um, uh, um, cognitive, be what I am using, behavior therapy, solution focus, brief therapy, and I'm also using for a family or a couple, um, a family uh, emotional focus and couple therapy. And as I told you, the various approaches for first we try to identify the uh, identify the issues and then we explore more negative thoughts to identify the reason of the issues. And because I strongly believe, because as I'm working from so many years, I strongly believe our, uh, the e every problems or uh, I can say the root cause of every problem is uh, in our thoughts and the, uh, the, uh, uh, the solutions of every problem is also hidden in our thoughts. So that is the, my main approach. I'm exploring thoughts and try to be uh, try to be teach them through a psychoeducation Great. how they can change their negative thoughts into the positive so what you're trying to say is that uh, positive thoughts are also hidden inside you you just need to take them out you need to find place to end them out um, that's the, yeah. that's what yeah uh, so like you know as I said first <coughs> we identified the reason of issues when and we explore their negative thoughts to find where is exactly the issue uh, after diagnosis that we uh, work on uh, exploring their positive thoughts to find the positive energy to find the strength of that particular client and then we start working togetherly on based on how they can change from negative thoughts into positive do you see more men or women who are your clients um, more? actually both or um, I can say the more kids also uh, yes. from uh, seven um, grade, uh, no, uh, seven from seven to like the old age. That's very, uh, that's very depressing. That it, uh, that's very disappointing. If kids are your clients, what's the reason for that? Uh, not depressive. It's uh, that again. I said it's everything depend on thought process. How the person is thinking or how the person is perceiving any situation. So um, it's nothing, it's a shame. It's a very good if they have, if the kids have any issue, parents should take uh, initiative to take help.
Okay. Yeah, yeah that's a fair uh, advice that if your kids have some issues, uh, it's always uh, good to have some professional help and uh, professional help uh, here at least is not very far away. You can get in touch with her and uh, she's got uh, different ways of helping you. But on the lighter side, as uh, there have been lots of jokes floating around on WhatsApp and other social media that men are more depressed, married men are more depressed. Is it true? <laughs> it's uh, actually not true. It's, not true. <laughs> it's again the thing. Um, you know the stages e every person um, goes through to each stage uh, always I give example like uh, the uh, so married men are not depressed um, not like that so how, how they are dealing with the situation that's okay. the very important thing so you're you know, dealing with your spouses that's really important yes uh, how okay. you are how are you managing how you are talking uh, the thing is how you're communicating great great uh, how do you how exactly do you deal with stress and anxiety Okay, this in the stress, I can say stress is like uh, the feeling of like other f uh, a list of the other feelings. It is also the same thing like the other feelings. Um, as soon as I see any situation, how I am perceiving, am I creating any nervousness, fear, or anxiousness uh, to deal with that situation, or I am ready to deal with the situation? Like if sometime I have that skill to deal with that situation or if I don't have, I'm ready to learn the situation. Okay. So how I can deal with, ready to learn the, sorry, to skill to deal with the situation. So it's, it's about adapting to a situation where you develop a skill to deal with the, uh, with the dicey situation where you think that it's beyond your control to deal with that situation. So that's, uh, that's how you deal with stress. Yeah, as you told me, like the married women are more depressed, uh, married uh, men are more depressive. So if, here I can say the only thing is... No, no, I was just kidding. Don't take me seriously. No, no, I was no, just okay. kidding. Yeah. It's okay. So like the, the communication, if the two, uh, two people, if they are staying together, if they they are not communicating with each other, clearly communication with each other with the proper words because communication skill is a very important skill. If I am communicating everything clearly with each other, I think we will not get any uh, stress uh, after that. So, so communication is also very important. Uh, what she's trying to tell you is that communication is very important within your family. Try and communicate and also discuss your problems. Maybe your partner would be able to help you, but in case uh, that's not the case, you need some professional help don't be shy because when you need professional help you certainly need professional help and that's the only way and uh, positivity is hidden inside you try and help yourself before you seek that help but uh, if you think that you're not able to help yourself then obviously uh, the way out is to ask for professional help but uh, I have to ask this uh, this question to you uh, do you treat your patients or do you treat your clients with drugs or medication or how do you treat them it's just about positive Positivity, or uh, is there any other medicine that you use? No, we use a various approaches, <coughs> like the psychotherapy, in a various approaches, and uh, we don't use a medication. And uh, through that approaches, we try to, or uh, also we provide a psychoeducation and try to teach them the uh, um, coping skills. And uh, the initial, the first session is always, uh, or maybe I can say that throughout the treatment, try to be identified uh, what is the reason behind uh, um, to take this uh, drugs or alcohol so and uh, simultaneously <coughs> we are also identified and exploring their thoughts uh, regarding their strength and positive energy to so deal with addictions also you deal with addictions as well yes. so uh, what's your approach it's it's just with uh, positivity against the same approach uh, uh, you try and help them discover the positivity within themselves or uh, you you're not relying on medication uh, no, we are not because I am not specialized in that. I am licensed and uh, registered for my only the psychotherapy. Okay. And uh, the thing is, again, that's a very important thing. Addiction is also the behavioral issues. So the cause, root cause of the issue is very important to know. And everything is uh, depend on uh, how you are taking your thought process. So we work on only on exploring your thoughts or uh, negative thoughts and try to teach them how you can change or replace your negative thoughts into positive. 
That, that's a very good approach. I should have asked you this before, uh, but uh, now it comes. Uh, how do you test that somebody needs uh, help to you? Is this, is this some sort of a testing that you do, blood test or a saliva, or just interviewing someone before you get to know what sort of help they need? Okay, so when the uh, clients call us, they sometimes they know, okay, I need help for uh, alcohol or some things, and sometimes we also uh, try to make do, uh, did they need for any testing? Uh, because we do provide a drug testing and uh, um, uh, saliva test or uh, the blood test, but we do a urine test there because uh, we experience a urine test is more reliable test. Okay, so yeah. what do you find in urine tests? So what are you looking for in the different tests? So a blood test and a urine test would tell you if the person blood, is depressed? Yeah, blood test is uh, we cannot do it because it is uh, mandatory to uh, uh, done by in the lab all, only. And saliva is not accurate, so we came to know is a urine test is more accurate. So you come to know whether the person is depressed or not? Uh, no, if the person is uh, uh, taking alcohol and how much the... Um, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> other very important, uh, uh, very important issue is domestic help, uh, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. How do you try and help people who've been victims of domestic uh, violence here in Canada? Uh, the, when we receive a call, the <coughs> call from the client, that time we didn't know who is a victim or who is really in the issue. But when they come to us or uh, over the phone, we try to find out to, uh, they need help for uh, what they're going through, what they are assessing, uh, what they are dealing with, what is the issue. And uh, based on that, we try to be find out where is exactly the problem. Okay, uh, that, that's very important uh, that you try and help them. But uh, psychotherapy can help uh, the victim or the perpetrator to, uh, to get over domestic violence. So who does it help? Actually, the both need help to that because both need to uh, stay together. And if they uh, got this issue, um, not only for the one partner, they both need to be understand that some of the aspects through like uh, the lack of education, lack of communication, or a lack of respect for each other, lack of listening each other. That's the main small small things or making assumptions um, for each other. Are, um, uh, and they are both are not uh, taking responsibility or um, are not respecting each other again the things but the communication is a very important thing and yeah, that yeah. is the main uh, um, cause or the main coping skills I need to uh, uh, figure out yeah. and uh, teach them through coping skills. Great, uh, that's very important. Uh, in the society, uh, in present world, I'm told this is a very, this, uh, this problem is taking menacing uh, effects. How deep, deep rooted is this problem in the society and do you think uh, it's getting more alarming or uh, it's getting under control? The thing is, as I told you, if uh, if the if any sign or any behavior behavior you are seeing in the family, if something like uh, start from uh, any anxiety or a uh, stress or no, not able to manage um, a situation, I think that's the sign the person <coughs> need to uh, go to help, take a help. Uh, because the things are very small initially, if we are taking on our time, that help, and that really help them a lot. Okay. And uh, we cannot say it is controlling or it is spread. It is like that. But yes, if we are taking help on our time, it will definitely can cure easily. Thank you. Thank you, Satvinderji. Uh, it was great talking to you. And uh, in case you need help, and it, in case if you let someone in your family or someone you know uh, is, uh, is the one who really needs help uh, for depression or perhaps uh, some negativity, so obviously you need, uh, you, you know where to go. Uh, Satvinder Kurmiji, she's uh, here in Brampton, and uh, she's a trained uh, psychotherapist, and she knows uh, her job very well. And uh, that's, that's really what you need to do. You need to get 
with your loved ones uh, and try and see that uh, depression is uh, is a problem which is a very underrated uh, people tend to ignore it people tend to forget about it people tend to you know uh, don't bother about it and that's not what your approach should be try and address this problem before it gets uh, very difficult to deal with and depression is is getting alarmingly uh, you know it's 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 tentacles are spreading so you need to address this problem as soon as possible so that's all we have time for tonight uh, in this show uh, do keep watching channel one also keep sending your feedback for this show and uh, stay tuned for our, the other programs and you know this is the place where you try and we try and get you everything all the current affairs news and uh, even Bollywood and uh, as cricket series is uh, uh, the current cricket series so this is the place where you'll get all the updates so thanks for watching channel Y. take care good night goodbye